some of our problems are, are exaggerated, really. But I want to assure you that we have made every effort to ensure a each free convention. Reconciliation efforts are still going on, and we are open to uh, suggestions from uh, groups who are trying to reconcile all the different groups in the party. But I want to say one thing, that the fact that we have had so many people coming out to contest for the position of chairman, and indeed other positions, shows that this is a party that people think is very, very viable. A party that people think has a lot of future ahead for it. A party that has great potentials to again take over the reins of where governance in Nigeria. Um, the, even the, the fact of our uh, quarrels, the fact of the conflict within the PDP, shows that this is a party that is worth fighting for. It shows that this is a very bright party. Thank you so much uh, for staying with us, uh, everyone. Well, you heard him there, uh, Prince Diade, uh, the spokesperson of the Makarofi Group, telling us yesterday on the program that, well, they will go on with that uh, convention. But with uh, Senator Ali Sharif insisting that they need to call off that national convention, will the party go with the law or against the law, or will they institute a child of what, necessity or what? In this case, where uh, Prince uh, Shegun Seriki has been talking to us, a founding member of the PDP and a third republic uh, lawmaker, talking to us from our Abuja studio. Um, you were telling us a few things about what you think could play out uh, in the coming days. Uh, from today is exactly a week uh, from today that the PDP, uh, the Makarofi group, is expected to host that uh, national convention they've been planning, and several people who have obtained forms to contest, uh, to contest for uh, the chairmanship of and other positions in the party. But as it stands now, several court cases hanging over the party. Uh, if they go ahead, wouldn't that look like lawlessness? If they don't, wouldn't it be that they are dragging the party down the mud? Quite frankly, if they go ahead with the convention, it will be very, very unfortunate because it will amount to disregard of the, for the rule of law and it will portray the party as lawless because, you see, it is not right for our public office holders to be viewing issues as if they are, they are law under themselves. Like I was analyzing before the break, the last judgment was painstakingly clear in the analysis. Everybody knew of the subsistence of the two others from Lagos. If a court or competent jurisdiction gave another judgment in Padako, which is bad enough for us as a country, the judgment analyzed to the level of the powers of courts of the same coordinate nullifying judgments that happen to be in nullity. And the nullity of the Porter Court will have emanated from the existence of two court orders. Now, I can appreciate the frustration of the McCarthy Committee because they are bound by the three month, the 90 day uh, lifespan. But anything they are trying to build on something that uh, or nothing amounts to nothing. And that is where I will still expect of the leaders of the party to be unbiased. Unfortunately, majority of them had been tainted. And that's where we won't have option than if they don't see reason, the, 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 the party members that are grieved will be forced to go through the full process of law. Okay. Uh, uh, Prince, Prince Eriki, in, in, this, right. in, the, in this matter now, it becomes a, a very troubled moment for, for the PDP. Uh, in fact, uh, one of perhaps uh, the, the most uh, 
uh, devastating moment for the party in history for the past uh, 16 or 17 years or so since it came into existence. But as it stands now, let's look at the way forward. I want you to tell me, uh, with, with, with what is happening right now, a lot of Nigerians expected that the PDP will pose a viral opposition to the APC that is coasting home without a major challenge on the political scene. But what exactly would you suggest that the party should be doing right now or else it looks like the party is heading for destruction, isn't it? You see, I don't see the party getting destroyed, except we're just getting sentimental. If they go ahead with this convention against the law, the law will catch up with them. But the process and the, the, the demise lost is why concerned stakeholders are talking about reconciliation. If we don't get it right. We still have a lot of time between now and the next election. And it probably might be very good for the party because the majority of what we are battling with now are the impunity that threw up a lot of people into offices in the last decade. They are used to the idea of, say, for instance, if I were a governor, I am the governor of the state, the law belongs to me. I can interpret law anyhow. If I was a minister, I was this. Basically, it, it brings us into ridicule when you see the level at which democracy is over, all over the world. And that is why it, it's very difficult to explain to those who have conviction of the, 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 the law as being the basis for relationship. All our idea about political solution have not been fair as people because we try to force our ideas or our interests on others. The basic thing is the parties are not being sincere, are not being fair. Uh, Prince, if the governors Prince, sorry, feel please. they can control the party, they must control the party within the laws. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm afraid we need to go now. Uh, Prince uh, Shagun Seriki, uh, a founding member of the People's Democratic Party and a third Republic lawmaker, talking to us about a way forward for the People's Democratic Party, a challenging moment for uh, the nation's, uh, perhaps, uh, the biggest political party. But that's how far we can go on the program today. Many thanks for being part of the show. Uh, we have our team here at China Television, Global Headquarters in Lagos. I'm Shion Wakimale. Bye for now.